Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Better Philosophs Spanish Let's Plays. We have our little fishing community called Pearland which we are going to continue playing. In the previous video I had expanded quite a bit, managed to make a tailor. I'm going to slow it a little bit so I can get the feel of what's going on. I had made the tailor, a quarry, had lots of new adults, up to 63 adults now. This is my 10th year of this village. I have lost two people so far. One in the first episode, a child, and there's another one in the second or third episode. It was a woman in childbirth, so I lost a child and a woman. So that would be three deaths in total, but that's not bad. I have 14 new kids that are going to be replacing my first generation. My first generation is now at 60 years old. I'm gonna give them maybe 70 or 80, but I doubt they're gonna go above that. I haven't really had the best health for them during these beginning years. The herbalist is collecting less and less herbs each season, which I find quite interesting. The first season he had managed to collect about 100, but then it dropped and now it's only around 50. So I'm thinking one herbalist is going to be enough. But that means that this village over here does not have a herbalist. And I should probably get them one and build it over here. So let's see, herbalist, 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 that would be F8, I think, and then 3. Herbalist, 30 logs and 12 stone. I have stone, I have logs. So let's build. Actually, it should go over here for more area. Herbalist, what else is being built at the moment? Alright, these two homes and this fishing dock. Oh, I guess I should speed up. I have 14 laborers, so definitely get more builders, since I do have a lot of buildings that need building. The foresters are at the limit of logs of 150 and I'm building a lot of new buildings so I may want to raise this to 200 and make sure that they keep making logs. The food limit is at 5000, I'll, I'll just put it at 10,000 although I doubt I'm ever gonna actually manage to get it all the way there. Now I was talking about getting a market because these storage barns are not very universal. They are only taking the items that are very close or should I say the workers that are very close use the storage barn that is the closest to them. So a market would in a sense... Uh, why are you... Oh right, that's the herbalist they dropped. He probably hasn't found a job. So, herbalist, herbalist, oh I see, so I didn't do this, so now he is freed up. As I was saying, uh, for a market, for a marketplace, it is going to make sure to take the goods from this storage barn and this one and have them all at the market. So, all the villagers have a single place to go to get venison, mushrooms, hide coats, tools, berries, fish, and that way instead of these guys over here having to go all the way to this storage barn to get the iron tools and the clothes they can get them in this market over here. I know it's not too much of a difference right now but as this village expands the housing gets further and further away from the storage barns. For example these fishermen here and here have to go a very long way to get to the storage barn so I will probably make a new storage barn over here once I start developing the next piece of this village. Now let's talk more work. I was trying to create some new camera locations in the last episode and I was failing to figure out how to get it to overwrite its previous setting. But I think I just figured it out. If I right click or 
did I just figure it out? Hmm. This seems to be Z. This is X, this is C, and this is V. So I made V and Z be the same. <laughs> That's not actually how it's supposed to work. But I guess I did overwrite it, so because Z became this. Okay, let's try. So I want to be here. And I want this to be Z. Nope, that didn't work. How did I manage to change it? What am I low at? Low firewood because I have few logs. I will have to cut down some trees. Cutting down trees. Whoops, no, I meant to do this. Stockpile. I need to get the stockpile here for them to have a place to get these trees and stone. Two. Uh, as I was trying to do to save the location of the camera. I want my camera to be something like this over here. So I go into the save camera location. It says restore the view by pressing the hotkey Z. But I want to save the current one here. So I just left click and if I go away, press Z. Oh, so that was it actually. Okay, so actually I want this part to be Z. I want this part over here to be X and this part over here is going to become C. So Z, X and C. So it wasn't that hard. I think I even tried the same thing in the last episode but for some reason I was failing. Okay we are getting some new wood, new logs but I need to get even more, so I will be cutting down some of them over here. Again, wrong key. Oops. And I'm running out of stone even though I have 8 stone cutters, so I may increase their number to 10. But have I managed to build everything that I wanted to build? Let's see. Nope. Still missing one stone, and the homes where I where was I building the home set down here. Yep, these homes were built. So I need more homes to be closer to the quarry. Do I have a road here? I don't think so. Let's get a road here first. And then some housing right next to the quarry. I think that will be in the marketplaces area. Let's see the marketplaces here. That's a pretty huge area that it will cover, so that's excellent. But it needs a lot of resources, and I don't have those at the moment. But one thing that I do desperately need are more homes. Can I build any stone ones? Well, not right now, but I can wait. And I'm trying to get stone houses so I wouldn't need so much firewood. One, two, three. I actually need five for the ten people, ten builders working at the quarry. So, more, more, and more. Can I build it here? No. Maybe on the other side, yes. I realized that I haven't got nearly enough stone and iron to build all those homes, but I am collecting and creating right now, so hopefully that will be created very soon. I seem to have one out of two, but one herbalist in total. I need to increase this to two herbalist in total. Sixty-seven adults. That means I need about uh, what's this? Citizen without tools? No tools. Probably because I didn't have iron, or maybe I didn't have logs. Whichever it was. No, I think it's the iron problem. Yeah, the iron is probably being piled up at the stockpile, very far from the blacksmith. 
there it is so if I want to have iron closer to this blacksmith I need to build an iron mine here do I have the laborers for it I do so an iron mine it is Can it fit here? No. Strange. Ah, here we go. It fits over here. Connect it with the road. Now, I do realize I have placed a heck of a lot of buildings, and I might not be able to get all of them built. In the time period that I'm thinking. I do have 7 builders and 10 laborers. We should be able to get all this wood cut down and stone picked up. Actually, where did I actually pick up any more stone? No, I stopped picking up stone because I had made the stone cutter, but stone cutter doesn't seem to cut it. <laughs> so. <laughs> I am actually going to pick up a little bit more stone manually. This stone, I do realize it's really far away, but it's only a one time thing, and after which I won't have to go so far. There's some iron here, which I could definitely use. Too bad it's still gonna go to this stockpile and this stockpile is miles away from my blacksmith so in order to speed the process up I would need to place my blacksmith here but that would add another building to the queue which is already huge so I may want to take things more slowly The food situation is okay, the firewood situation is okay, the log situation is okay, the herb situation seems to be okay as well. So in that front I am okay, but the tools are the new problem. More and more villagers are running out of tools. Now I have iron, but no logs. Let's clear off some of these trees that seem to... Did these trees regrow or is it just my imagination? It's quite possible that they regrew. How many homes do I have actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 times 2, that's 50, oh man, I'm missing homes for 17 adults, I'm way back at my home building, laborer has died of a weak heart? I'm guessing that has something to do with the health and the health has something to do with the food and the herbalist. Well, these guys now have herbs from the new herbalist and they do have a lot of fish and the, all the things that the gatherer can gather and these guys don't have any fish so I really need that marketplace to start dividing the food and goods equally but I have other things to worry about I don't have enough housing I definitely don't have enough tools and those are my main issues at the moment I can't have enough tools because I don't have iron and even the one I do have is very far away from the blacksmith so I do need the mine to be built as soon as possible. That's just too many things that need to be built at the same time. Where exactly did I start going so wrong? It's probably the distance between the places where the resources are gathered, stored and then used. That's probably the biggest issue. 
I mean, if you look at it realistically, I am picking up stone and iron here and all the way down here, then storing it all the way here and all the way here, and then I'm using it all the way here. So I'm wasting a lot of time, and as I told you in my previous videos, time is the most precious resource in this game. So I guess the only way to better develop is to somehow make sure that you're building things right next to the available resources and the stockpiles that hold those resources. But that's kind of hard when you look at the map and how the resources and the places where you have things to pick up and leave are located. I'm doing surprisingly well on food. 3000 in supply. Just how much am I gathering, for example? 800, 900, 500 and 600. And the other gatherer... Hmm, can I somehow switch over to the another one? No. How about like this? What are they doing all over the city? Oh, and once again I forgot to increase the limit on the fishermen. That's probably something that's been like that since this video started. I'm sorry, I just keep forgetting things, there's just too much to do. And playing at X5 really takes its toll. I'm amazed that some people can play at X10, but probably it's because I'm trying to talk to, with you through this let's play and that's probably taking a lot of my time. Now, where was I? Before I was talking about the fishermen, I was talking about the time. Before I was talking about the time, I was talking about the food. Fishermen. A thousand in the previous season. Bravo. That's very good. And the hunter? Still quite nice amount, so in 11 years I have not exterminated the deer that lives in here. The deer that lives in here. So that's pretty awesome. I wonder are there any deer in this place here? Maybe I could get another hunter in here. Although I don't see many deers in here. There are some actually, but all the way there. Can I even get there with a hunter? Maybe if I move him up? Hmm. I think I'll leave that for some later moment. I was talking about food, herbs are good, clothes are good, but still no tools and I still have a few people without tools. And the problem is the lack of iron, and the lack of iron can only be fixed with a mine. But to build a mine I need stone, to get stone I need belt weight. The quarry is producing stone. I have 15 maximum, I have 10 that are in it. Well, let's raise that to 12. Maybe it would have been better if I had just kept them in the quarry instead of sending them all the way here to pick up stone. Considering how much they had to walk, that actually was probably the better idea. Yep. Okay, stop collecting the stone that's so far away. And just concentrate on the quarry. So instead of sending out laborers to find rocks far away from the stockpiles, let's tell them to go into the quarry that's right next to a stockpile. Is it? Yep, there's a stockpile there. So hopefully that should fix the problem of lack of tools. 70 adults! Have I built any homes lately? One, two, three? I definitely need more homes. But then again I'm reaching the problem of not enough stone. So I might have gone and built stone homes too soon. Well, actually, it's not the home that I built too soon, it's the fact that I don't have the resources to build them early enough because I didn't really do everything as I should have. These stones are quite close, maybe I should pick them up. 
and there's this road leads to a stockpile here, a stockpile over here, so that would be probably okay. 10 people without tools. Oh, this is getting worse and worse. I do have the logs, but no iron. And I don't have iron because my mine is not getting finished. Okay, so definitely need to stop sending stone to the housing projects and send it with an increased priority to the mine. I think I'm getting annoyed by how I have placed these things. May need to do some engineering with the UE. Oh come on, where are you? Oh right, I can just pick it up like this. Hmm. Actually, I could plot this here. And log like this. Could have just placed this up here. Yeah, I go with this right now. For now. Actually, I'm using this far more than I'm using the event log, so maybe like this. And tools, actually up to 13 people without tools. This seems to be a continuing thread. More stone to build a mine for the iron that I lack. But can I get any quick iron from just picking up? There is some here. I may really need to do that. Get some iron really quickly. Just so that I don't completely run out of tools. And to make matters worse, the people who need to get the stone for the mine to be built to mine for iron are the ones that do not have the tools. So that's even worse. And creating the problem even faster. Or should I say, they're making the problem worse. Herbalist is at his limit. How about that? Awesome. The logs I'm okay at. Firewood same. But still the problem remains. Come on, I need more stones, more stones. 41 out of 68. I don't know, I think I should just put down some wooden houses because I'm wasting a lot of years that my villagers could spend breeding. I wrote through here, just so I do not close that gap with another home. A road here, and then I can fit some housing here. Seventy-three adults. That's uh, thirty-five, thirty-six homes necessary. That is a lot of homes that I need. I'm probably not even close to that. What's going on at the moment? Well. Actually, nothing. I might as well speed up the process because I'm stuck at building the mine. Finally, all the stone has been delivered. Just need the builders to go and build. Eight laborers, seven builders. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if there's no resources, the builders will go and get them themselves. Not too big of a difference. I have managed to pick up some iron. That's probably the iron I was picking up from over here. Yes, it is. Twenty-six people without tools. <laughs> this is terrible, but soon to be fixed. As this mine becomes operational. Right about now. Iron limit, at least 300, 
And go, 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 go. Reduce the number of builders. Increase the number of... What are these guys called? They're called... For crying out loud, where are you? Miners! Right, miners. Well, makes sense. Mine requires miners. Production of iron. So, how much stone does this thing produce? It produces just 100 stone per season? And remember, season is actually a year? That's very low. Very, very low. Wonder how much this thing is going to produce. Probably even less, since I do have 15 workers working on it. But okay, the homes have been built, the wooden months at least, and now some of these stone houses are going to be built and the tools will finally start coming in more frequently. Let's move the limit up to 25. I should probably slow down since I do have a lot of reserves that are low. Low stone, low tools. But okay, I know about that. I haven't increased my food production in a while. Well, I do have a lot more villagers now. I even have 20 kids, which means it's time for a school! I was waiting for the moment when I would get 20 kids so that I could fill up an entire school. Now, well, not a bad spot, but I think over here might be better. Actually, I should watch out. That's where I want the marketplace so the school can go over here. Of course, I don't have all the resources for the school, but soon probably I will. Am I going to need another blacksmith? Well, I am down 37 tools. I'm going to leave it to run like this for now, but if I see that I definitely require more blacksmiths, I will make more blacksmiths. I am going down on firewood because I now have far more housing to supply with firewood, so there are a few things that will go together. First, a limit has to be raised on logs, then a limit has to be raised on firewood, and finally I will need another woodcutter. Where do I have more housing? Here or up here? I think up here now I have far more housing. So another woodcutter will have to go up here. Woodcutter, woodcutter. Woodcutter like this, so it will stockpile right next to him. A death? Okay, stone cutter was crushed by a rock. That's probably something that education might be able to help with, although that's not confirmed. It's just a logical conclusion. Didn't I already have a stockpile? Yeah, that one's for stone, this one's for iron, and hopefully for firewood and logs. And like I said, my food situation was okay, but I have more and more adults, and I definitely need to start building some food production. That means this fisherman down here. Fisherman, fisherman, fisherman. Oh, is this going to intersect with these two guys? To here, to here, well, a little bit, yes. I think I will slow down the speed of the simulation for the moment because I may run out of food before I manage to build everything necessary to create more food. So I don't want to let that happen. Where is that building? Oh, there it is. Now, because I'm expanding down here, there is going to be a need for a storage barn down here. Storage barn is F51.
down oh my god 51 tools missing can't you start working faster blacksmith look at this you have logs you have iron come on work faster maybe it's just not possible for one blacksmith to supply 80 tools or maybe I just have such a big backlog that I am unable to do it school was built I need a teacher now having students instead of just kids is going to increase the time that children take to become adults I think it goes up to 15 or maybe even 18 years old instead of 10 so they are going to be a mouth to feed for much longer but then they should be able to give that time back by being more efficient later on here's the new woodcutter okay she start working and how's my first generation my first generation is up to 76 years of age 78 some of them actually so my first generation is still alive is the dickhead Albertson still alive yeah he's still alive and it seems like he remarried but at a very old age and who knows will they even have a child I think I followed the life of one more dude hmm yeah Fisherwood I remember him from one of my first episodes they seem to have stopped making babies at 68 years old so it may be that very soon I will have several of these homes one two three four five six homes that may very well soon be emptied by dying of old age so that is the first generation dying slowly of old age I definitely need to use these laborers as mine workers to get more iron so that I can get more tools my tool situation is still terrible at 50 tools missing how is the school still zero students strange maybe nobody is at the age that they can start school could be how are we going down here start to building the fishing dock and storage barn yes we have three builders and just two laborers now that's pretty low maybe I should check on the fishermen and see which one of these could use a reduction in the number of fishermen hmm I believe this one probably this one as well drop down to 18 how much are you producing very little actually going to drop down your numbers as well you you're not producing much either drop your numbers as well I think they should produce around a thousand and every fisher dock that wasn't producing around a thousand I reduced their number down to three fishermen so I do not waste the time fishing with more fishermen than it's actually useful well the hunting cabin keeps surprising me with more and more venison and I still don't have any tools but it seems to have stabilized at 50 so I will need a new blacksmith if I want to fix this problem I think I have built pretty much everything except the new fishing dock and storage barns I am losing a lot of food, I used to have 3000 in inventory, now I have only 1500 well this is it for this episode we have expanded with even a mine, some more woodcutters, a school, some more fishing docks that are soon going to be completed and I think I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more episodes of Banished.